Major poor Drew's guy. <laughs> Live from Indianapolis. It's Thursday night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, man. What's up, Talex? Let's go. How right on, doing, brother, everybody. Man. Hey, Tom. Thanks for joining this show, too. We've just used Tom as a guinea pig T- for the past. Tonight's going to be smooth because Tom helped us do the rough. Way to jump on the grenade, Tom. We appreciate that. Player, everybody else will, too. You, uh, we owe you something. Let's see. Good? Hey. Microsoft SCCM guru pouring up some Glenmore Mo Signet. Haven't seen this cheers guy you, in sir. a long no time. Kidding, nice dude. to see you. Um, oh, yeah. And some Signet cheers. It's great to see we you. We killed Welcome. ours. I wish I had some before. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good Enjoy, because it is good. It's tasty, uh, man. Signet is legit. Signet <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, is legit. legit. It is. To quit. <laughs> it is good. Oh, my gosh. What a They night. did some good stuff with that. So to bring you guys all up to speed, uh, hey, Lewis, um, basically we started a show at 9 o'clock for patrons only, and really it was more of a guinea pig type thing to try to test some new things. Drew's set up a new computer and got some more permanent things in place, so we don't have to use laptops. And uh, Here's how the night actually started. <laughs> the night started about 7.30 when I came down to clean the bar. And the only <laughs> way to clean the bar is to get rid of all the bottles that have like this much booze in it. And there's only one way to do that. Pour them in Mark's so he's glass. been true. Make, make your own blend. <laughs> so the wheels may come off earlier than normal. <laughs> Just saying. If you notice uh, a little bit of levity on this end of the camera, that may have something to do with it. <laughs> right. There's been a few bottles down. Hey, Scott, what's going on? We're already messing with Molly's head because she thinks it's time for pretzels because we've been down here a long time. Yeah, that's the truth. Oh, okay. So this week's bottle, uh, I don't know how long we want to wait for people to get get logged on, but let's talk about so Glenn Molly. So Molly. you know, last week. Uh, we reviewed Monday. We reviewed the Glenmo 18, and yep. we've had this bottle for quite a long time. Just I don't know how that. and why it lasted. We wouldn't. That long, we wouldn't really have had it. Is. Well, you know why we had it that long? Because I didn't know it was open. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, every time I ask about it, yeah, he's like, "Well, it's not open." It's yeah. honestly. It, so I think, as far as the Glenmos go, Signet's probably my favorite. I really like this star, mm-hmm. but uh, 18 is. I mean, 18 if you can get good. it for a hundred bucks, it's a steal. Yeah. The star is amazing. Yeah. It really uh, is. Really? Yeah. I thought it was really I enjoyed good. it. But the 18 has a lot of stuff going the for it. Right. It really does. It's, 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 it's a great jam. Right. Right. It's, it's, I think the Quinta Rubana didn't get as big of a love as we did, too, as this one did, I should say. Because yep. on, on, on the YouTube live reviews, people were like, eh, it's good. But the 18 is hands down, like, it's, it's really good. It's top shelf quality. Well, I can say that uh, the Glenmo. Um, tasting party that we went to, what, a month ago or so, uh, there was a lot of people there that had never had the full lineup and had definitely never done a whole flight of scotches before. And so we're talking to people that are new to the Scott new to the lineup and new to doing it in general, and there was a lot of people that were very impressed with the 18, including us. I mean, uh, we've yeah. had them all before, but um, it, it really is a really nice Everybody's class. making fun of bourbon shenanigans right now. <laughs> right, Scott says, don't recognize Mike without a hat. Tom says, who's the clean cut guy in the middle? Is he trying to change his look as he migrates to scotch? <laughs> Maybe he is. He's going on vacation. Hey, hey, hey. I vacation. see Scott Next right week, there. So. He's trying to get, I guess, looking like his passport photo so he doesn't get uh, pulled Hello. aside and, and search. Check, check. <laughs> so before the, I lose I this, this comment, um, uh, SCCM Guru asked if the Bunahaven 18 ever made it to us. And, I, man, I don't remember what I had for breakfast yesterday. Uh, so 
I'm almost positive we got that thing. We, we put a review on it. Yes, we did. We did. It was a while ago. I need to go back and look and see what uh, what we scored it. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me of my uh, my homework of well, updating the spreadsheet. I, do I don't I know how. I don't even remember what I scored this. That's a crime <laughs> I, I'm serious, yeah. I can remember movie quotes from 30 years ago, but I can't remember what I did this morning. <laughs> I'm trying to move it out of the way. And oh, well. I'm looking at hey, Scott Richard Z. Right What's up, Scott? We're going to have uh, Scott and another guest on in just a second. We're testing the behind the scenes here where we're going. Yeah, so with all this new change that Drew put in tonight, we are trying to figure out how to make uh, Google Hangouts work with guests with multiple cameras and multiple I'm, mics and I'm stuff. I'm waiting so. for Drew to hook a server up in the closet. I am. It's, it's basically it's coming. a server. <laughs> That's what yes, I said. We're, hey, uh, we're going to have to network the, the whole house together. You know what I'm saying? At gmail.com. Right? Yeah. Mark's mad because uh, <laughs> I didn't pour him a glass of scotch earlier. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Drew's going to put a server in the closet, you know. He got a, he got a call from us. So high heels and whatever. Long hair, whatever. would be nice. Let me have him again. <laughs> you sit down here until we need you. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Lasanta for the tech, huh? Well, Telex says Lasanta. What's your favorite, wait a minute, what's you guys' favorite Glamourage 12? I'm not sure no. if I understand what the is going on over there. So, like, this stuff's ready to go behind the scenes. It's like a film thing. I'm just pushing it over and we're ready to go. All right. So, so Scott's not ready yet. I'm not sure. Larry, uh, Larry Lane, what's your favorite Glamourage 12 question mark? Can you that mic off? Well, Are you saying is Glamourage 12 our favorite Glamourage? You know, I'm not what sure. Is because of the. I like the La Santa. La Santa's pretty good. I like the La Santa. Look at that uh, picture. Yeah. Let me see we, it. We I have can't actually remember. a pretty good so, sketch back here. Okay, we're not getting there. Yeah, uh, that's I would say of, of just the, I just took the eight um, bottles upstairs. The 12 range, yeah. if that's oh, what you're asking, Larry, awesome. I would probably say La Santa. I, it's, it's pretty close between La Santa the, and the original uh, for me. The um, too. Really not a fan Even of the, the Nectar. Uh, uh, Nectar. The yeah. Nectar door. And the Quinta Rubin. Nah. Those are good. The only one in there that I don't think is. Well, even the original was. Next door is old sweet. You know yeah. what? It was interesting at that tasting because it had been a long, long time since I had the original. Right. And it was, uh, you do what you got to do, man. If you need some at your house, I got plenty to me. Travis I never had a Glenmo. Really? What? This was. Right, we still haven't around. gotten together, you know. We tried to, to we haven't I'm crossed paths much yet. Much We've much. kind of played phone tag, not phone tag, but trying to figure out a good time. I will say there's um, a lot of scotch out there, and I mean, if you haven't had some of the major labels, you know, there's you got to give them a shot. You just can't. Yeah, they and, haven't been around that but, long for a reason. But I would you know, say no that you know, try not if you're a scotch drinker, try not their entry level bottle isn't doing them justice. About Glenmore? You know, right. what I mean, yeah. well, really any of them. You know what I mean? If you go, well, it's really it's well, you know what? Look at this for example, sake. When we obviously when we started two two three years ago. We didn't know anything about scotch, really. Um, still you, don't. You do. We still don't. <laughs> but I remember specifically having a Glenmo. I think it was the 10, right? Yeah. And we weren't impressed with that, and it kind of threw us off. But it wasn't until It did whis- turn us off it to Glenmo for a while. It wasn't until the Whiskey while. Expo that you and I went, and we were like, holy crap, what are we missing here? Yeah. So it's kind of... Like it's Glenmore, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really easy to kind of get stuck in that range, and... Honestly, that kind of kind of goes back to our, our last week's or a couple weeks ago episode where, where we, when we had uh, Ben on from uh, the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. It's it's those, that's why I'm really excited about those bottles because it's like yeah. a you don't know what you're going to get and it's all good stuff. It's kind of like you don't you don't have those impressions of distilleries. You're going to get some good preconceived and stuff. notions. Right, exactly. Well, you know, and the other thing too is you get. There's a reason why some of these distilleries are, are big distilleries. You know what I mean? People like their product. So, mm-hmm. you know, but you get their entry-level stuff, and you're not really doing it justice. You know, you, you've got to try some some of the range of expressions that they have. I think going to a whiskey expo is a good way to expose yourself to a lot of that ah, stuff. Sure. So, mm-hmm. lots of comments on it. So, i got to say A.A. Hey, Ron. What's up, dude? Hey, I, just, I love the name. Man. What a great screen name. Um, anyway... Uh, <laughs> So uh, somebody, Gregor, made a comment. He said, "There's a reason it's the most drank scratch junk scotch in Scotland." I mean, yeah. I mean, for for an everyday glass, you can't beat it. That's you know? a good. It's a great and, point. And a lot yeah. of their expressions do a, a lot of different things. I mean, there's one for everybody kind of deal. Cruising. What's going go. on, bro? How are you doing? My favorite. 
What's in the glass? Yeah, hit that bad boy. So Gregor, the one that uh, no, who, that Larry had asked him, you know, what our favorite one. He says his was uh, La Santa is his favorite too. But he's actually, you know, likes the ten for a good cheap, yeah. cheap one to have. And around. you know what? Like I said, it'd been a long time since I'd had the ten, and it was funny because trying it at that tasting, it was kind of, you know, it wasn't what I remembered it to be, and I really gave it a good shot, and yeah. and it's it's a good core expression of their basic basic. It's like. You know, driving a you know an entry level car. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but you get the idea of what they what they can do. I agree. So, yeah. so Bob H said he ordered real sherry monster from SMWS. No, Bob, I haven't had it. Um, Ooh, what's what's the good. number on it? If you don't mind putting that on there, and not that I want to get more Scotch sense Scott over at the test dummies, but if that's a sherry bomb, I bet you he's, you know, his tongue's probably <laughs> hanging out right now. You might want to put a little bit in a bottle and send it to him. <laughs> or to us, too. <laughs> I'm just I'm saying. I'm still trying to talk Mark into the one we were talking about earlier. We need to yeah. so pony up for a them. bottle a month, boys, and... and uh, they, they, they actually do. They they do have a thing called, the, you know, a bottle the Scotch of the Month Club. Yeah, yeah but I like, want to pick them. Yeah. So there's there's one that I, I went out there and was looking, Bob, to talk to your point, um, and it's uh, I was looking on their site today, and I, I ran across one or two that, that kind of caught my eye, and we were talking about them tonight, and Sean's like, all right, I'll go in halves with you on that one. <laughs> Actually, we didn't even talk about them. He's like, I was thinking about ordering a, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we totally <laughs> we need, need one of those. We need to see that. 78.41. 78.41. I got it on my phone. He's got a tattoo to his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they ever changed that? the numbering. I'm screwed. <laughs> Somebody is. <laughs> There's a lot in here. Shenanigans. <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> All right. so I'm, I'm tasting the whole range of Scott on the night. We'll get there in a second. Let me go ahead. Are you guys ready to have him on? Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Mark, are you still heading to NYC? KB and I would love to shake hands and have a drink. Yes, Bob, I will probably <clears> be able to make that happen. I've been trying to get the kitchen pass from the missus on that. We literally talked today about um, putting down our, what we're going to do. You know, I had a family meeting about where we want to go and what we want to do. We already have a, an apartment rented in Brooklyn. Um, I'll be in touch, and uh, we'll figure out a time and place to, to have a dram. You know you so, can't sleep there, right? Where? Can't Brooklyn. sleep in Brooklyn. Yeah, I know. No That's all right. Sleep. No, Sounds good. You, you can't sleep until oh, you till get you there. there. That, that's Brooklyn. a different story. Hey, we also need to talk about uh, the December thing. Eric's on his way to Scotland. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow. We got 45 yeah. My parents boys. are in London right now. Uh, good night. 45 yeah. What did you say we need to talk about? Uh, December. December. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's Bob. Not K you. KB had made a, uh, an offer. Uh, in regards to uh, an event in New York in December that we might see if we can figure finagle out our way, way. finagle our way there. I don't know how that's going to happen, but what are you drinking? Hey, Scott, what's up, bro? I'm going to put you on in a second. Make sure you're good to go. Give me a thumbs up or something. Hey, there was a thumbs right, up. That's not a thumb. <laughs> Is that a thumb? <laughs> that's a small thumb. Oh, wow. so, <laughs> so, oh, you guys. Wheelhouse. 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 <laughs> uh, nice, Scott. Uh, That's for you, brother. Um, so here's the deal, Scott. We got you on a crappy camera so you can at least see us, but the microphone's on his laptop for now, so we're going to mute it back and forth. So you, if you can't hear us, it's fine. We'll put you back on. We're going to play a little game for a little bit, but you're, we should be able to hear you just fine <laughs> in a second, hopefully. It, it cost me two glasses of scotch to get to this point. And Rob, we, <laughs> we sent you an invite, so I don't know what your deal is. But what the heck? Why'd you join? Invite. He All says right. he's got nothing there, man. What are you drinking, Scotty? Let's put him on. We can't hear him. Turn, right. turn your, turn your, uh, or. This is going to be a whole thing. I can say, say something else, Scott. Uh, I didn't put you on the phone because it wasn't ringing on my computer. So oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Well, we see you great. You look, you look fine. Well. Are you hitting on him? Wow. <laughs> Gosh <laughs> dang. At least buy him a drink first. I know. Right? What you. <laughs> Speaking of which, what you drinking? Yeah. So, what is that? Actually. I'm going to mute us. I'm going to have to go get my uh, earbuds in a second. Okay. All right. So uh, a lot of people are drinking Glenmore, to be honest yeah. with you. I mean, oh, everybody. because it's a pop. Yeah, it like, everybody's tipping it up. So that's good. You know what? It's funny because I just had a glass of the um, the Aurora, the Wolfburn. And, I mean, it, it's, hey, it's got a little bottle. hint of that, that smoke to it. 
And then I poured a glass of this Glenmo, and it is all straight Highland. You know, you get that orange and floral character. Sure and and yes, Kato, no, lots of dummy strength. <laughs> One just had to go get his earbuds. Can, um, Tom asked if you can lock the camera on. On Scott. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. yeah. I forgot to click on the thing. Thanks, Tom, Mr. Hangouts. So my question is, why can't we, the, we're not getting our third guest in. And I don't know not, why. He's I, not seeing yet, but he's right. Click on. I feel like all this is a conversation for our other YouTube Perfect. channel about, yeah, think about you know, and then all camera YouTube. technicalities. Yeah. Just shooting your YouTube that's videos. our other show. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be a YouTube giant. <laughs> Don't here's, follow our advice. Here's how to not do that. <laughs> First, go find two friends that'll drink while you're trying to do technical stuff. <laughs> well, I make sure they're talking because if I'm trying to do technical stuff, possible. then the show falls apart. <laughs> they have to be smart asses too. A lot of smart ass yep. comments. Throw some movie quotes in there just for fun. <laughs> and then conversations having to do with nothing right. in the area. Am I, am I on now? Yes, yeah. you yep. are on. All right. Can they do, can so, else hear I don't know. Can can everybody on the show hear you? I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on now. This is gonna be us? half the show right uh, now. Scott, what's that? Can you hear us? Okay. <laughs> okay. Houston. Houston. <laughs> Houston. 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 <laughs> Houston. Houston. What? You got a dick in your? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like we've been drinking for an hour. I got it. Oh, you're yeah. So this, yeah, this is turning into a big... Now your guys' audio, are you, oh, you just muted me? Okay. No, you're back on. You're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not muting you, we're muting us. Hi, Scott. I, I don't know. Can you hear us? Good. It's good to actually talk to you. Yeah, it is, man. I, I haven't talked to you in a long time. What's going on with you guys? What's new at the zoo? How many peat shootouts are you going to do this year? We're, we're done with... <laughs> we, got, we got peat overload. You guys, you guys have went to some serious peat, man. Dude, I don't know how you met. I just, well, look at the shelf behind him. That's how he does it. 32. That's a lot. Half of it, the other half How's your liver? Hey, Rob. <laughs> I'm afraid to get a chance. <laughs> just go ahead and get in line Time for a new out, one man. now. Hey, Rob, Rob. thank you. Rob just super chatted us some Canadian cash, and that's uh, much appreciated. We're Heck trying yeah, to get him on the, invite. trying to get him in the hangouts with us here. Scott's audio is low. Well, that's because it's way over there. No, it should come. Just keep through. going. I'll... Drew's got Drew's this. Got this. Yeah, Drew's got this. Drew's got it. We upgraded Drew from a laptop to a Ooh. mission control. Kato, Buna having 14 cast strength PX is delicious, and that's what he's drinking. Is that Sounds the stuff great. That we had? No, we had the Buna having limited release. P P PX. And, and it was PX. Oh my and it was, it was it was phenomenal. Yeah, it was good. So I'm sure that that one's awesome as well. Yeah. I'm not trying to get that bottle. One of our liquor stores was supposed to be trying to get a bottle for us. In fact, it hasn't even came into Kansas. And I think they missed the boat. So you, the limited release one? Yeah, the Buna Hobbin 14 PX. Oh, is that was is that what it's called? Limited release, and it's 14. Is that maybe I'm maybe we were talking about the same scotch? Let me let me look at the bottles. So you I took got, a picture I took of a it. Took a picture. I mean, yeah, that's not something I'm gonna forget. So or yeah, I, will, I will forget. That's what they do. It is a limited release that they do. Well, it's the. Uh, like Okay, I want to see the 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 label on the box. The label that we sampled, it, it, the label just said limited release. I didn't remember seeing an age statement on it. I know it was absolutely the distillation date was two thousand three. The bottling date was two thousand seventeen. So it yeah, was year. Kato, that is an absolutely yeah, delicious strand. I I mean that was the big We're surprise that for me. That, day. that was the bottle. We yeah, that's the guy. That's the bottle right there. I don't know if, I don't it's know if you guys show, can see that or if yeah. it's going to show or not. That. That's money. That was good. That was good, good. <laughs> yeah, that's punch your mom in the face kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, oh, my mom doesn't watch this, by the way. So <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> um, they don't deny it. I mean, if it's that good, punch her in the face. Hey, uh, you, you're you going to get your hands on it, and you're going to say the same thing. It, it was that we went to, um, 
uh, a whiskey uh, whiskey guy here in Indianapolis. He had a big event at his house and invited us. And when we walked in, I mean, he had probably a couple hundred bottles, of which a good 75 of them were on a table and open to just, you know, help yourself. And that was the one that I left that I couldn't forget. I was just, That was on my mind the whole drive home going, that was a really good bottle. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't buy crappy bottles. We want, yeah, yeah, I can scoop back. Um, so bear with us, guys. We're kind of getting through some stuff right now. The audio, I know, is not the greatest for Scott, so we'll make it work for tonight. Next time, we'll be more prepared. we got some things we figured out tonight, so speakers. But get, we'll get through tonight. At least it's working, so. Right. Could be better. It, it will be getting better It'll and better. It will get better now. We have a permanent computer down here we're going to use for streaming and thing going forward versus laptops, so things will get better. Just deal yeah, with Yeah, we should open one of those. If you can. That's well, a great idea. We, what is it? I Nothing know, for right? you. Yeah, is it that bourbon? I don't want none of that bourbon. Scott, you want yeah, your bourbon? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I got all kinds of bourbon. I got <laughs> all kinds of bourbon Mike is jealous of. Hey, yeah. I watch your videos and I look, I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, is what is that? There's something, right? What? Bart, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bart, get out of the way. <laughs> Take the hat off, Bart. I can't see that bottle. Man. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your shirt's too bright. Oh, gosh. Hey, did, did you pick up the uh, Long Branch yet? Did you try it? I look, went look, I went to five places before I got my hair cut today, and no one had it. Really? About three weeks ago, I saw it everywhere, and I was hesitant. And then I started watching reviews of it and people liking it and stuff it like that. You and got to be yours. on the bleeding edge, brother. Yeah, I know. You only got so yeah, much money. Really, I mean, I saw it on the shelf and it was thirty-five bucks, and I was like, "Shoot, for thirty-five bucks, I'll pick one up and <laughs> yeah. you know, see what it's got." Oh yeah, I was really surprised. I'm not saying it's not the best whiskey you're gonna have, but it's good and it's definitely worth thirty-five bucks. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I picked like. up on. So I'm still gonna look for that. So <laughs> let me read this comment. What's up, everybody? Wine Light is in the house and quite lit on Buna 12 and Lag Distillers Edition while watching third period. He's <laughs> Cheers to you, Wine Light. We're going to catch up oh, with yeah, you. Oh, yeah, I'll keep going. I know I'm going to shake the camera a little bit here. What are you doing? It's hard to take this out. It's, it's an earthquake. No, I'm kidding. Come on, it's Las Vegas. <laughs> I don't even know. Is uh, Kat's winning it? Uh, Kat's going to finish it tonight? Probably. Go Warriors. Is your daughter watching another game on Friday? It's already won. I hate to say it, but I think the Cavs are done. I agree. I love to what's hear it. I love the sound of it. What's their, what's it's, they're up three games to none. So there's no way the Cavs can, can come back. Can, can you say a sweep? I'm fine with that. Well, I, I just want, I love to see LeBron get swept. <laughs> I cannot stand that guy. I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong, but he's all good. The, all the antics he does and the flops and. Uh, what is Telex booing me for? That the Cavs are done? It's a haircut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It might be the haircut. Boo. It might be the haircut. Shout out to Nomad's uh, Barbershop in uh, oh, that's right. Greenwood, that's Indiana. Right. Uh, he's probably not watching, but uh, a good buddy of ours, Jay. Barber Jay. Yeah, he moved down there. He opened his own store. Yeah. Oh, he he's from Avon? He moved down he, there? He's got his yeah. own store. He just opened up. That's why it was. Yeah. So I, I actually gave him a bottle of um, Compass Box. And King. King, King Street. King Street, oh, no yeah. And I, yep. I gave him one of our... That's cool. Good for you. I, I, walked, cool. I walked into the store, and he's like, go through that door right there. I'm like, okay. So I opened the door, and there's like the bottle sitting there on the table. That's cool that he did that. I was like, awesome. so that was so cool. Hopefully so, he'll watch this. I was like, was Drew down here this so. recently? Because they just opened this week. This week so. is the first week. So yeah. I need to make a trip down there. It's pretty far. It's like 45-minute uh, drive. Yeah. But. I'll, I'll go see him. That's a long way for her. You just hit five liquor stores yeah, on the you, way. You can hit like five or six liquor stores on the way. So. Salt Tire's a little salty. <laughs> Why? Why After Ardbeg buggered up my committee version of Grooves, I'm not bothering getting the watered down version of it. <laughs> Screw Ardbeg. I can't blame you. Man. I, I'm, I'd be a little salty too, but I, I, I mean, I couldn't turn my back on Ardbeg. I mean, it's, it's just good stuff. I had some, uh, the Oogadale the other day was quite tasty. It's been a minute since I had some, so. So I figured out why uh, Telex booed me. It's why? Because he said, "You said let's go Vegas." I heard that boo. I'm like, I'm not a huge 
<laughs> hockey fan. Why so not? says thanks for the cool. shout out. Let's drink because I'm in a drinking mood. <laughs> hey man, I'm like Why three hours ahead Sean. of you. <laughs> Sean, meet my. <laughs> you don't have any plans tomorrow, hey, do you? Go. <laughs> Nice to meet you. I gotta be at work in a few hours, but don't That's worry about cool. that. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I Tom said it till ten. He uh, he there's he knows two more places, uh, two more bottles of that Magnum's Peat Monster. If you want one, oh, give the money to Mike and he'll bring another one. We, to we need to get a bottle of that, Tom. Just go ahead and make that purchase. We'll pay you back. A big bottle. Yeah, Hell yeah. Well. A big bottle. That's yeah. good stuff. The big that Kahuna. Is so, good. so now so, here's um, what should happen. We should keep it and savor it. You know, put it up on the shelf, open it on a special That's occasion. That's not gonna happen. That's totally not what's gonna happen. I know. You realize this bar doesn't, doesn't... No. Right. It doesn't happen, Actually, there's so. a couple bottles down there that haven't been opened, but... That's because we, we're slapping our hand. We've got to review them. What you want? So, so Scott, what, um, what's new for you guys? You guys just wrapped up your Pete um, shootout, right? There are multiple Pete shootouts. Uh, yeah, we did that. We've got the... And then we did the Drams for Fams fundraiser with right. the Edmonton Scotch Club. We've got uh, 12 Hours of Boom that we're working on right now. Oh. Be July 7th. Oh, that'd be cool. July seventh, nice. Yep. That was uh, pretty successful last year, you guys. I don't know how you did it though. Twelve yeah. hours, man. That's a long. Time. And then you go on the wagon for a couple weeks, yeah. right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's why we like you. I know. There's no driving. We get along just fine. Now, last last year we went uh, noon to midnight. We are going to alter it a little bit this year and go ten a.m. to ten p.m. Yeah. Just to Oh. Uh, have a couple more hours for our European uh, viewers, and then also gets us done a little bit earlier in the evening. And, you can pass and out many so. We should. I, I was hoping you were going midnight to noon this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's a bad call. <laughs> I'll tell you what, maybe, maybe I can talk a couple of these dummies into a road trip. We'll come out there and have 12 hours of boom and have some fun. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh my God. That's a, it's a pretty good road trip, though. That'd be like a well, guys, we did, uh, 12 We hours. talked about a little bit. We're actually looking our fifth anniversary is in October, and we're thinking we might, we're going to try to put something together in October here. Okay. Um, yeah, I, was, I, was, I listened to some of the ideas that you had the other day. Yeah. yeah. Really? That, that sounds cool. cool. Years. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's Having like, what, um, is that your cousin that plays cousin in Shane? the band? Uh, cousin Shane. Cousin Shane, yeah. Having Cousin Shane play. Nice. Maybe just I'll bring my guitarist. I'll bring my keyboard. You always bring oh, your keyboard. Of course. Man. Have keyboard, tickle, we'll travel. Tickle the hours. <laughs> Not really. But It'll be all good, man. Uh, well, the weekend we're looking at is October 19th and 20th. It's the Friday and Saturday. So if you look at your calendar and and see what you guys got going on. All right. Might make that happen. 19 oh, that's spring break. That re- that I don't know. if I think it, the spring break normally is towards You the mean end. fall break? Whatever. Fall break, yeah. Yeah, that too. The other spring break. I'll check it out. That would be fun, though. It'd keep kind of like a mini Demicon. <laughs> I think I saw that, and I looked at mine, and we're going to be at Destin. Oh, 19th well, is my know, Friday we, off. Well, you know, as far as, like, Demicon goes, it was going, and, and I had, like, these visions of grandeur and all this big shebang stuff, you know, and some people had said, hey, you just, just get something going. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be grand. Right. Even if it's small set, small, small scale, get something going. Right. That's yep. so just they were solution. Like, yeah, you know what? Our fifth anniversary is coming up. Let's just do it. So. All right. Well, that's a start. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Put it on our calendar. I, 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 if there's, that weekend looks good on my calendar. Me too, so far. I mean, honestly, just got to make the drive, whatever. The flight. So it's what six hours. Oh, it's to probably Missouri, a nonstop flight from here. I bet another two hours uh-huh. to Kansas City, and then to Wichita. Well, it's another uh, two and a half. I think two two and a half hours. So it's like a Kansas City here. It's twelve hour drive to get there. Man, if we get Jeff to go and he drives, we can make it in six. Heck That's yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> I can't keep up with them driving behind them. And they... It's funny when we go on fishing trips, like you're driving. Because <laughs> yeah. we get there at half the time. Because if he gets pulled over, he's got. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Sure. yeah maybe. If he knows people. Huh. So, Rob asked if anyone's tried Collectivum 28 by Diageo. I have no idea what he's even talking about. Somebody enlighten me. I don't know, but I I hit the Diageo guy up today because he came into my restaurant. Oh, nice. So what is that, Rob? I, do I need to go to Google and, and look? I don't know. What... <laughs> well, it's nice until they walk in and realize what they stepped into. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It happens. Because I, I, I actually composed a, a, a letter to 
Diageo North America to say, hey, you know, we'd be interested in, you know, working through some stuff. So I might be interested in if you get that contact better. Did That's you say right. porking through some stuff? What did you say? <laughs> right. That's what I heard. Hey, man. Working through some th- discussions and you know, that kind of thing. Are we in a bad 80s movie? Is there a villain? <laughs> I feel like there's a villain. There's a villain. I know there is. It's, Somebody's it's closing down so, our so uh, ski lodge or something? I don't know. While we're waiting for uh, word back on Diageo, a quick scotch in the news. Did you know that McAllen opened a new distillery? McAllen? Yeah. Well, is really? it the McAllen? Yes. Get out of here. When did that happen? I, you know, I think it's a, a fairly small <laughs> yeah, like, facility. Yeah. It's like 48 stills <laughs> they, or some shit. They like knocked a couple walls down and knocked spackled down, some stuff, just right? Put some spackle on, put bucks, a still in there. Right. Away you go. So if you haven't, well, all you have to do is Google yeah, McAllen that's Distillery. That's I looked at Mike's schedule. And it, is, and Dustin. It, it is a work of it's art, I would have to say. It ought to be for what they looking. paid for it. So there's been 120 or 100 million dollars. A. A. Ron just super chat five bucks. Oh, Cheers for that. Right. And, hey, hey, and Moose seventy six hey, said wheelhouse. I'll so we might as well. Oh. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to switch up to cast strength. It's time. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, what are you doing? Wine light said we're drinking. Or. Oh. Well, that's cast strength. Gift from. Who's Eric, you're going. Are you going to the new new distillery, uh, McKellen Distillery? Busted open. Yeah, I think Eric's going there. Yeah, I think I, I think I remember him saying it last week. I need to pull up the chat because I need to. Okay, Tom. So chat. we're opening. So something else I'll add from <laughs> Scotch and the with News. Pride. Yes. This is, of course, is in my wheelhouse from the technical side. Um, so Microsoft just launched this week their first you know, data center. So imagine oh, a capsule. Yeah. They just, this is funny, they actually put it in a, a big tube basically full of computers uh, that could hold like, I don't know, like three years of movies. It's crazy, the data center. But it's, it's, it's the big thing with data centers is it costs so much money to cool them, right? Because they're huge. Right. Well, they put, they, they submerged this tube of data centers with a pipe going from, you know, land to this tube in the ocean. Guess where they, they, they put it at? What part of the ocean? It's gone. The Orkney Islands. Oh. Really? So Highland Park has got a big data center submerged. It's a little bit of Scotch and News geekish for you right there, but uh, it's pretty cool. Really? It's going to last for five years without any reason to cool it. So that's a, it's a test because basically... Bless you. Um, yeah, bless you. So Excuse me. Think, think about the cost, <laughs> the, the cool. It's amazing how much money you know, heat from computers, So right? do they really think those servers will last five years without any physical maintenance? Yep. Solid state drive. Yeah. Solid state drive. Nothing moves. There'll I mean, be nothing. There's nothing moves. to mess with it. They can do all the so work if, remotely. You, so I saw a picture of that, and the the, the insert into Ready? that tube has Ready? fans I, all over it. Yeah, it's like it's all shaped and curved, and the framework has fans all over it. But so supposedly uh, the pressure uh, can just blow against the the sides of the steel case and cool it. But the coolant of the ocean is supposed to be so cold that you want to heat it. Motion of the ocean. There you go. Geek news for you from Scotch. That's all I like it. <clears throat> it's not so what you think it is. Aren't, aren't the Orkneys where... Uh, uh, it smells uh, good. It smells real good. That smells good. So you guys got to talk through that because you, you only poured two glasses. That's all we got. Scott's drinking some wow, spring is... break 12 cask strength. How's it that? It is... Uh, 94? Talk to me, Scott. Yeah, 94. Well, I just, just popped it open. Uh, we got it to review and it was in your sealed... So I'm to get a little bit of air. Far. We need to get into some more spring breaks, that's for I'm sure. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, the, uh, the Drams for Fans fundraiser that it's we a, did, we sat down a, with the spring bank lineup. Story. We had the oh, 10. Okay. <laughs> we had uh, the Hazelburn 13 Olorosa Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Uh, a 20-year single cask ex-bourbon refill, and then the 13-year long row Malbec finish. And then we just Ooh. got the 12 cast strength, so I'm just popping it to see. But there's, I mean, the, the, the four that we had during that tasting are all outstanding. Yeah. How much did you guys raise on that? Uh, $1,700. Hell yes. That's Good man. job, man. Awesome Good for job, you guys, Scott. man. That's Good great. for you guys. That's Fantastic. really cool. Wheelhouse. Hell yes. Congratulations on that. You want to see matter of fact, I got a call today from, the lo- from our local food bank that said guys, they're kind of like a... WTH, what was the money from? <laughs> right? Yeah. A bunch of scotch heads? Yeah, a bunch <laughs> of... Exactly. 
That's cool. Yeah, that so, is cool. Tom wants to know what you guys are drinking. Okay. It hasn't been Tom, we opened the small single barrel batch, 94 proof, top 10 liquor pick. Collective. So, it's good. Man, it smells. It's like super brown sugar brown and sugars. cherries and there's clove. It's really, really nice. You want to sip of this, man. Vanilla. Yeah. Hang on. Um, I mean. Rob, I sent you a text, or actually I sent you a link in the uh, direct message there, so you should join. So. That's really Rob, nice. Rob, I'm, I'm researching that collective them, too. I, you said that we need to try it. I want to... <clears throat> It's really, like it, really it's, good, man. It, 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 it smells drink. burning. Yeah, this but is, it's... This uh, is not... Compared to the 12, what is this? What's going on? Oh. Uh, it, it's it's more intense. Like a, wow, it actually smells pretty good. <laughs> sugar. You want to try some? Almost oh, like a cooked, sh- heated up sugar. Like What's the proof sugar? on that? 94. Feels hotter than that, doesn't it? No, it's smooth as shit. Yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very smooth. Elijah Craig knows their stuff, man. They, I have yet to find a bottle that I don't enjoy so I just, thoroughly. I mean, I just opened... Wow, that's really good. That's very, day, very smooth. Very cream. Oh, cream. It's kind of like a hint of like cinnamon, a, too, without uh, the... A little bit. Like is that, that's normal. just the Elijah Craig small batch? Small batch uh, store pick. Okay, so, so it's a single barrel. Yeah. So I just opened the Elijah so. Craig Small Batch 94 Proof at home, and it's right. one you get in a normal bar. Yeah. It's just not the single barrel. Yeah, it's Elijah Craig Small Batch is hard to beat. It yes, really it is. is. I mean, I yeah, love Elijah Craig. In, in, our, in our blind shootout, it, it's the one bar picked out of 16 bottles. Yeah. Oh, is it really? For good reason. It's yeah. a really good bottle. Yeah. Do, All right. you, do you have access? Did, have, did you pick up one of the new uh, barrel proofs, Scott? Uh, Bart's got a bottle, and I'll probably, if, the, if our store still has, our store had uh, three or four bottles, and the other day they still had a couple on the shelf. I'll probably swing over and pick one up if, if they're still there. <laughs> Two? Uh, <laughs> I, They'll pay I, you. I can, I can try it. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have I, I've, I've, now, I've looked today, and there's nothing, so. You're just not convincing enough. I, I guess I'm not. I think that's I the problem. Nine, I got nine bottles of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof sitting over there, Mike. What? Uh, <laughs> nine bottles? Dude, uh, are you serious? Yeah. That's not your yeah. thumb. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, just, Bob, Bob H., send me the link to that. I think you just convinced this guy to fly up Scotch to uh, your place. at gmail.com. Uh, I'll go buy it right now as well. Right now. <laughs> what are you getting? Bob just found some OP21 online for 118 bucks a bottle. Done. Dude, done. Seriously? Done. <laughs> so I'm like, you too. It's <laughs> 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 $45 for shipping. One bottle. Just buy it. I don't we'll care. Buy, okay. We'll buy it from you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, it's worth every bit of 150 bucks. Scott, he's going to grab his OP21. I can see what he's doing right now. Oh, he's man, Scott, bitch. get out we're of here. We're all we're nine of us. We finished ours. One of his custom shells filled with... Scotch bottles and bourbon. Sorry, Scott. Network problems. <laughs> here you go. Here you go, Scott. Or all nine of his barrel proofs. Oh. Still here. Oh, he's pulling them out. Oh, shit. Oh, look at all nine of them. Good lord. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that is 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 pretty good. You gotta unlock it now. You gotta. Oh, no. oh, right there. there he is. Whiskey in the six. Look at this guy. Look at his hat, huh? Cheers to the six, Look at man. He's got, the, he's got, got a scotch. Uh, chest. He's got the scotch chest on his head on. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so all we need is Scott to wear a, a you know scotch four dummy shirt. Well, we need, well, we need the new logo. We need the yeah. Yeah. Scotch dummy's hats first. Four dummies hat. That's what I need. All right, we'll yeah, get we, on that. We hey, all so, like hats better. So Rob, are you enjoying your one day of summer? <laughs> right. You know what? Uh, summer hasn't started here yet. We have about three more weeks of school, and then it's ready to go. <laughs> you guys still shoveling snow? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, last week we had weather in like the high 30s, which would be like 
Ooh, Ooh, high 30s? We were 90 here. Good lord. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. Well, hey, I just looked up that bottle that you suggested in the comments, and I hadn't heard of it. I didn't know anything about it. So, I, yes, it does sound extremely interesting to me. You, you've had it? It's this one right here. Uh, me and my buddy just split it. It's ridiculous. It's a Diageo product. So basically what this is, is it's 28 different Diageo distilleries, all scotch, going from, like, alphabetical order. I'm not going to list them all because it's crazy, but... Every, every one of the amazing scotches that Diageo has is blended in this bottle. Did you review except that the for, other day? Except for Brora. Brora's not in there. Did you review that the other day? Um, I think I... Did you... I haven't reviewed it yet. This is my first time tasting it tonight. Oh! I thought, you, I thought on one of your recent live video speeds that you read off all of them. I did. I, re I read them all off Okay. On, uh, Tuesday, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't review it yet. I hadn't opened it. That's what I thought. Super chat. We well, just got a super chat. So, uh -oh. so Keith, dude, thank you for the ten dollars. Um, Molten. We are hey. serious too. Get your ass here anytime. Yep. Dude, seriously, the bar is open. Just let us know when you're coming up. It's that easy. It's we let this guy come over all the time. You're like two hours from <laughs> us, man. He's no, coming up. Maybe they'll lock the door behind you. Where's Malton? Cincinnati. 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 Well, I go over there for drumline all the time. I know. We should just do it. Just we give us a day. It's an so, hour and 45 minutes. Two yeah. Maybe two yeah. hours, maybe, if we're lucky. Yeah. I need, yeah, we go up to Dayton for drumline stuff all the time, so I need to, I'll just stop by some weekend when I'm up there for drumline. Whiskey, Scotch test dummies, whiskey in the six. Why are you all so muted? Uh, it, it's, long story yeah. short, we know about it. It's a new setup that needs to be tweaked. How's we that? got. <laughs> we need a speaker here. A couple things we're gonna fix, but just get through it tonight. We'll make it work. Assuming everybody can hear everybody, that's it may as long be as you great, can hear them a little bit. We'll try and be quiet when they talk. We're doing it. We're drinking whiskey, so that's all. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, my glass is empty again. You know what? I know. Here, I got. It was the, like uh, a little bit of taste bottle. So Scott, yeah. nice hat, you dork. Let me let me have a Scotch test dummies hat, and we'll create two not Scotch for dummies hats and send them to you two, and we'll do a little round robin on hats because yeah, we need to have yeah. we need some hats. I yeah, should be got, getting mine yeah, soon. I got hats. I got a vendor. I just need a graphics group. Hey, uh, I got you a graphic. Why am I that Glendronic what? sitting over there? <laughs> Uh, you got me a graphic. That's hardly fair. Where? <laughs> well, well, I wanted to talk to Travis about that. Uh, what? Yeah, probably should. Yeah, we've got. All right, some, I'll leave that. Got, we've got some Glendronics that we want to get into, but I want to talk to. Oh, do we want to get into the I've got, I've got the North, Northland now. That provided them because I really want to to drink them with him. I want to open them with him and, and talk to him about. So, um, hmm. Time to go pee. That's yeah, what I was saying. Time to go. Uh, Swami said, I can't hear oh, you. You know what I want. Yeah, we know. Bring me well, the big bottle. No. Oh, oh, there you since, go. Since we have a supplier. Oh, now, Billy. Billy, Billy, do? Billy. Bring out the big <laughs> bottle. <laughs> What's that? The yeah. big bottle. Cast yeah, strength. Makes you feel like a small person. So Tom just said we need to get some Bob Blair bottles to review. Yes, indeed, we do. Look at those, look at those beautiful Elijah Craig bottles next to yeah, Scott, though. He's making you. Uh, Especially that. I think I have. I think I have that one right over your shoulder on my bar right now. What's up, to, uh, Scott? That one. This is the very first one that Bart and I reviewed, and that we ever bought was the sixty-nine point seven batch. Yeah. So I've got one. I still have one spare bottle of it. I've got a few of the sixty-eight percent, which came out. It was either the next release or, yeah. or two releases after the sixty-nine point seven. And then last year's, I've got that. We never did see uh, batch A from last year here. Oh, really? We've got batch, batch B and batch C. Okay. But the new batch A just showed up here. Right, that's, so, yeah. That's the one I went looking for for today. But no luck, so. <laughs> Eric told Actually, Swami. Actually, my ECC, what you can do is coming out tomorrow on the new batch. On the, the new A? The, well, I, actually, I'm not exactly sure. I know it's an A, but I'm not sure which one. Okay. It looks like uh, Scotty's bottle, though. The new one? Yeah. A A one eighteen. One eighteen. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. I'm, I'm not. I gotta double check the review. I still gotta finish editing it. So. 
Oh, the love of editing. <laughs> right, boys? So we, I don't we know anything we, about that. You know, we haven't brought oh, up any God. comments people are putting through here recently. I, I'm, just, I'm laughing at it. I just I'm reading all the comments and just enjoying the shit. Like swamis. <laughs> Eric said swami should sell yarmulke. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> and then... Uh, so then Swami said that the earbuds in Scott's ears make him want to watch There's Something About Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you got some hair gel right there? <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, you guys are great. I saw, I saw Swami's tweet on that a while back. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. He's good, he's, he's good for a good laugh. Uh, that, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot about this. <laughs> last I know. Well, as soon as the so I gotta say, Scott, cool. I really enjoyed your quick hitter, your your Barton impersonation. That was really good, man. Kudos. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. So Bart keeps saying that I'm telling him he needs to do different quick hitters, and I haven't said anything to him about his quick hitters, <laughs> other than they're his. He can do them however. It's he his wants. style. Yep. Well, yeah, yeah. The other day, again, he puts one out and says that I told him he needs to make them shorter. I haven't said a word to him, so I'm like, I'm going to show him. Oh, shit. Do the quick hitter. <laughs> <laughs> this, those guys are fighting right now. It's kind of funny to see it. <laughs> that was really good. I mean, you, you're a hilarious guy. You're spot on, man. It's like, oh, man, because I've watched a few of those quick hitters from Bart, and I'm like, that's pretty good. You're good. I need, one, I need to do one with Mark and these guys. I bet mean, I could do a pretty good impersonation of you guys. You don't want to start that. Yeah. <laughs> do you really want to start that? No, I don't want to start that. Yeah. I get in trouble. I'm easy to make fun of. I'm not, I'm not getting involved because I know you spent a lot of time making some pictures about me. Yeah, let me, let me Photoshop you guys. No Wait, yeah, I'm sure there's some... Uh, some B-side reels of us doing stuff that we don't want. Exactly. Well, it was a, you put it on the front of one of our videos recently. Yeah, so the, the thing stuff. is, Scott, and, and it, Drew does all the video editing, so he's got hours of video of us, which he can stop and take a still frame of anything, so he can get any face that he wants from us. But the weird thing is, and, he won't do video of my chameleon eyes. Uh, I don't understand yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't, don't do show it. Crazy. I won't show him. Uh, uh, the funny it thing is, is you guys don't realize when I do our, our thumbnails, it doesn't take me too long, but I crop every pixel out of your faces and facial. It's disturbing. <laughs> do you have a job? Yeah, I have a job, but, really? I'm, I'm, but I'm good. Are you good? No. Wow. Man. Damn. No. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> you started it. I just finished it. So, hey, Rob, what's going on up in your world? When, are you done with school already? Is the, is the year over for you guys? Not, or? Yet. Not quite Not yet. yet. A couple more Pretty weeks. Much, I got about, well, report cards are in next week, and then oh, after that, two more weeks, and it's all done. So, it's nice. And that's when the real drinking comes in, huh? And then your new job starts the following following year? Well, uh, I'm, it's, a, it's the same job. I just... Well, I just Change school. Change school. Because I got something closer to me. Right, right, right. Right, right on. Same, how does that shorten your Congratulations on that. Same grade level and, and age level and all yeah. that? Yeah, so it's 7-8 again. It's a split class. And actually, the the election that just happened in Ontario today pretty much confirms that we'll probably have increased class sizes. So mm. 35 to 40 people per class. Wow. Oh, Dude, that is harsh. For 7th wow. and 8th graders. You better yeah, keep working out in the gym, brother. It's going to be <laughs> like herding cats. Well, and... Hello. Good Lord. We're getting together in the back of the classroom with that many kids. You can't keep track of that. He won't need to go to the gym nearly as much. He's going to be kicking ass in class. <laughs> you can move down here and work for me. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't be a teacher, you're but you'll have to herd cats. You're always looking for managers. <laughs> I am always looking for managers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And it's a closer commute. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. It's yeah. good. So that's good on that. How yeah. long did the other day? How long did you say that your commute is was is currently? It's currently about thirty five minutes, but in the winter it can get up to like you know, depending yeah. on traffic accidents that sort of stuff, it gets up to like close to an hour sometimes. So about so eight months a year. I'm like I'm literally ten minutes away, like door to door. So that's there you go. Nice. That's awesome. That's much that's better. Awesome. I feel like a man pouring it out of that bottle, right? I just feel like I need to drink out of the bottle with this thing. Those commutes are awesome. You don't want to do that. about seven minutes. Nice. What? I, I, yeah. I saw you guys pouring from that 
Two hands. <laughs> right? That's my wheelhouse. Talk about lot. commutes. I actually have to go all the way downstairs by the coffee pot before I go back upstairs to my office. That's it's such a big commute. Is that a boy? Oh, Sometimes he puts on pants. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Us, us guys that work from home, home have to take showers every once in a while, too. It's kind of funny. Hey, I just want to mention, guys, um, just for fun, we're actually, we hit 50 tonight. Oh, really? That's oh. a big deal for us. We don't normally hit 50. Yeah, that's right. That's cool. Thursday. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I feel like we're the only ones who feel like drinking on Thursday. I know. We have <laughs> some know. viewers out there. It's tonight. good to see that everybody else likes to have a drink. It's Cheers to that. so many of you guys that you guys put everybody else's numbers higher when all, all, all four or five of you are watching at the same time. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. It is. We, we it watch you guys all the time. Yeah. Every <laughs> stream. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but see, they, all of us have our own, yeah, so yeah, we got five viewing right now just in this room. <laughs> I was going to say, the word, the word got out on my haircut. That's what it is. <laughs> well, that's why he's in the middle, that like cool drink of water. Take off he your head. He takes the primo take off your head. Oh, 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 yeah. It looks like a Drake bait. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude. Dang. Dang. God's plan. Dude, Rob, that's the dumbest damn song. It, it, it's, it's, my, six, it's my vacation cut. That's your vacay cut? Hey, I like it, man. I like All it. Right, looks dude. good. Roger that. Looks good. So, you got to cut them gray hairs out, man. I know. Once in a while. Right, hey, right, Scott? Thanks, Eric, man. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, take off your hat, Scott. <laughs> Eric Wade just uh, gave us ten bucks. Did he really? No, he gave us nine ninety nine. Well, he we'll had to save that money for the trip. To we'll Scotland. give him. That's right. He's going to Scotland actually for three uh, weeks. I'm assuming yeah. we're yeah. doing some live Crazy. streams, and he is. You know, you better be doing live streams. But here's the deal. I'm really jealous because oh, there you, go, you and Scott. I were just there a year ago it, this week. Yeah, we were there. And my uh, parents are going to be there next week. What? And he's yeah. going this week. I They're in London my right now. Bass player, he's in there right now too. I'm like, gosh, we're where? Go back in Scotland. Oh, Scotland. We're working on. We already that. talked about that. We talked about that. Yeah, we're going to get we'll there. go next summer. Well, That's safe travels, though, Eric, and have a good time and and do yeah, some live man. streaming, man. And if you get to some distilleries, you you got to crank the phone up and. and I know it'll be odd hours over here, but you got to do it. Yeah, yeah cause, because it'll go on. Your, or or at least shoot some video so you've got yeah, something to uh, put on your uh, reviews so, later. Uh, Eric, Eric, what's Scott doing? I don't know. Scott's got some fancy hat on. What are you doing, I Scott? Got <laughs> there. there you go. Uh, oh hey, shitter's full, Clark. Shitter's <laughs> full. Next month. <laughs> hey, uh, boy, Next I month. Remind me to ask what that chair sent you back. <laughs> quality <laughs> item. Quality <laughs> item. Quality <laughs> item, Clark. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Wowzer. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Eric, for the awesome. super chat. And, and awesome. safe travels to you. We're, we're anxious to see that's what you a, get into. That's going to be a fun trip, man. Yeah. We're actually talking about. It. I mean, we uh, we've kind of committed. We're serious. We, we talk about all kinds of stuff. The yeah. four of us, I think, are, are really trying to save the budget for figuring out how we're going to get over there. Yep. And, and we're going to make some phone calls and see if we can get some hookups. And we're going to put some. I'm hoping we get a Patreon sponsor. money away for that. You know I mean, do some GoFundMe. Maybe a restaurant. Urban Trail. A lot It'd be cheaper. great if we could get a corporate <laughs> restaurant to sponsor us. You know? Yeah. Maybe something local. A local corporate <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> hey, Rob Bear, a few dollars. Rob, can you promote us with your karate stuff you're doing? And... Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's kickboxing. It's Muay Thai, actually. That's it. Yeah, you should come, come over here and, and kick him in the head for free going. I'll tell you what, why don't you meet us in Scotland? <laughs> the karate Muay Thai. Well, honestly, so I, I'm thinking about it. I've been uh, obviously spending a lot of money on whiskey, and so my admin chair miles are adding up like you. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, Everybody's got a plan. We're, we're apparently uh, going to have to take the wives with us. When we yeah, giant, so it's going to double the cost. But There's a giant peep part that just happens <laughs> somewhere around here. It's right What's here. going oh, on back my. in the back? Oh, my gosh. That beat is good. That is so strong. No. <laughs> There's no peep farting going on here. It's just the bottle. It's just the bottle. That, peep, that cat's drink peep monster. Oh, uh, Gregor says he's over the Bonnie in less than two weeks. Does he go to Glen Goyne or Deanston? I, Deanston. Oh. I got to go to Glen Goyne. Glen Goyne. No, no, no. 
Deanston. Deanston. Go get the teapot, Drew. I'm going to. Oh, oh, that's listen, tough, Glen Goyne's great, but Deanston's going to be a surprise for you. Go check it out. It's amazing stuff. So, right. wait, wait, wait. Talk. Scott? Well, no, I was going to say, I heard uh, Glen Goyne is an outstanding tour of the distillery that they have. All right, so we're up 3 2, Glen Goyne. Rob, what do you say? Deanston or Glen Goyne? I'm a Goyne guy. You guys know that. No. Boom. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Qu- qu- question Have you guys had Deanston? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> dude, they're entry level. That's hardly fair. I'm telling you I, right I, now. I okay, well, okay. I like it. I like it a lot, but I just I've, I've had almost every single Glen Goyne, and it's incredible. I love Glen Goyne. Don't get me wrong. I really love 25, yeah. the teeth, all that stuff's yeah. great. But that Deanston 20 is a sweet spot for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then, how about the uh, the Deanston 17 cognac finish? I've got I've seen a bottle of that here. Good, bad, pick it up. No idea. Dude, how do you I get saw, these bottles? I Wichita? saw a bottle of it, but we didn't buy it. So I don't know Which about that was one. it? Cognac. Cognac. I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, Deemson 17-year cognac. Oof, that's I think it's 18, good. Scotty. I think it's 18. Is it 18? Yeah, okay. it Honestly, I, I heard great things, so you should probably pick that up. Yeah, I, I don't I think I've seen it. What you're saying you saw it at Vine Table? Uh, I don't remember seeing a a table. cognac finish him. Um, we were buying so, other shit. Eric's so. going to Deanston. That's cool. And then he's going to do the master classic, Glenn Goyne. So he's uh, nailing both of them. Uh, why, why choose one when you can do both? Exactly. Both, yeah. <laughs> Not uh, mad at you uh, for I'm, that. I'm assuming you're doing lives or, or at least doing some videos, man. I would, I'm would. i really looking forward to seeing what, you, what you're going to find I out. I think he said that on a couple of his streams. Churches. I'll yeah. be interested to see where my dad ends up. Wow, that is good stuff right mm-hmm. there. Wow. Thanks, Tom, for that one. Yeah, you can chew on that bottle for a minute. Man, it's like chewing on a burnt stick. It's good stuff. If you pour yourself a glass there, man. You need to no. get some of that. Don't be that guy. Pee head. I know. Or for Mike, but you know what? Drink you don't. You don't become a pee head until you kind of condition yourself. So let's. Um, is is Maltodon still? I think he is. He's like thirty some odd away. From, is he really? From one k. Man, come He's on. Getting there. Yeah, let's let's everybody that watches all of us. Let's get on him and subscribe to him. Get him um, to 1K. You haven't subscribed Scott, to Maltodon yet? All you yet. guys, let's get him on there. Let's get him. A, let's get him to one k. He's trying. He's almost there. Yeah, definitely. He's, definitely. he's been working hard. It's time to just. Uh, well, I think he, but I think he said he's getting ready to go on vacation for five weeks, driving from, like, Canada to California on. In the family motorcycle. truckster? Yeah. No, on a motorcycle. <laughs> he, he already did that. Ooh. He's he did already did some of that, but I think he's going again because if he mentioned about me, I'm not sure. I think he's going like two different vacations. That's a long drive. Uh oh, Cato's saying hockey season's over. Oh, dun dun dun! Are the Caps gonna finish it tonight? Did they finish it? What you got there, Rob? Uh, What you looking at? That looks like a log of wood. Oh, I'm looking at this. uh, Cool. It does kind of. It's the same family. It's got some log of wood in it, actually. But it's that collection that I was talking to you guys about. Honestly, it's ridiculous. It's so good. I'm afraid to pour another glass because this cat drank. To go to sleep so the Don't thing, be afraid. <laughs> that'll help you. No, I, I, I see the look <laughs> yeah. in your eye. So we get that same look when you when you taste the bottle. You're like, wow, this is really good. All right, do yeah. I give this a full? Uh, do I give this a high rating? Like, oh wow, I can see it in your do eyes. Do it, dude. What, what's <laughs> the cast strength? What is it? That, that look that I was giving that bottle was the look of when can I when can I secure a second bottle? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know exactly yeah, I what you're talking about. Mm. What's that one running, Rob? Um, over here it's two seventy four. Mm. Woo! Well, that's not that's not bad if it's that good. Well. Yeah. Well, I don't know how old it is. It's it doesn't have an age statement. It just it's a crazy blend. Like they're trying to they're saying that it's like technically under the Johnny Walker umbrella just because it's a uh, blend, but it's not. Like it's it doesn't say Johnny Walker anywhere on the box or bottle. It just has all the single malt distilleries on it. So it's a blended That's amazing. Malt. That's a great idea. Yeah. So talking about building that, a Diageo brand. Right. That's like money. Tell me. Is, is that like an infinity bottle? It is. Of it's yeah. it's yeah. Diageo. Right. But then yeah. who, who was the master that put that together, Rob? Do you know? Honestly, I have no idea. I, to be honest with you, I was at Diageo headquarters in Toronto uh, Tuesday. And they had no idea about this bottle. I literally bought it hour before I went to the meeting and it was yeah they literally didn't even know about it the ambassador didn't know about it the P 
PR people didn't know about it. I was like, how do you guys not know about this? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to pay me. I just, I just <laughs> bought this, dude. Come on. But I was like, give me some money and I'll do your job it's for you. It's kind of funny when you're in a bar and you're like, yeah, I know more of the scotch than you guys do. What the hell? <laughs> I do that almost everywhere. Yeah, I know, I know you do. But, in all seriousness, I'd like to know more about the person that put 28 different singles. singles together to make a good blend. I mean, you don't That's just insane. grab and say, I'll put a little of this and a little of that, and it comes out great, you know? Yeah, it, it, all it says is it's a limited release, natural cast strength, um, master blended to perfection, which I agree with. <laughs> <laughs> you give it a 95. <laughs> Marzipan, Tom. Oh, shit. So do you, would you give it a, a high, like, do you do the whole 90 or 80 to yeah, 90 range? I'm going to say this is definitely in the A-plus category. I'm, I would have to give it a little bit more time to know for sure exactly what it's for. Get her a score, She's dying. It's been like two and a half hours. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, a, it's in the it's 90s for sure. Yeah, okay. I was about, I was about to say that Rod gives everything an A-plus. Just about saying no. plus, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Scott's yeah, calling him out. Technically, my A plus is like ninety. It starts at ninety. So, <laughs> so Scotty, I think Scotty, you and I mark very similar. Great on the curve. Yeah. yeah. What kind of curve do they have in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he probably knows that. So he's probably reviewing a lot of uh, 90 plus slash A plus bottles. So I ain't mad at him. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, Scott, what's the what's the glass cases above your head up there? What's that all about? Where at? Above your head there, some glass cases of some bottles. Is that a mirror? Oh, compass box. Those are compass box exclusives. Oh, yeah. yeah, some of the compass. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so, we'll, so when we come see you, you're gonna break them out. You can have you can have anything from that maybe, bottom maybe shelf maybe there. This barrel proof Elijah Craig right there. <laughs> He's not coming, so <laughs> But I'll drink You're that. Not welcome, dude. But here's the thing, we don't come empty handed. No, no, we don't. Exactly. We'll bring this bottle. We'll bring this. And we, we drink things, everything. That thing's not gonna make it another no, week. No. It's gonna make it two more weeks. It may not make it through the day. <laughs> That's the problem with five people in the bar once. It does it's go a little faster. Liquor goes like, nice. hey, the other problem is that at least a couple of us are like, let's drink some more. You know what? Uh, before <laughs> I get, of which, we we get to our point bed. where we, we're after 11, uh, Rob, you, I noticed you just reviewed the uh, Highland Park Dark, oh, right? Yeah. Some of that? I, um, I just secured, uh, a couple of months ago, we had uh, Amanda Ed um, Tucker from the Edrington Group to talk about the uh, McKellen uh, edition releases. She's coming back That's next week to, to talk about the, we're going to do a comparison of the Highland Park light and dark versions uh, side by wow. side. So, really excited about that, man. What did you think about that dark? Honestly, I honestly think you guys are going to love it. Like, it's not heavily peated. I think my only criticism is that it could I wish it was like 10 ppm more. Oh. But other, other than that, it's bonkers. It's really, really good. I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to have yeah, I'm excited to have them side by side yeah. and, and really see do that a little compare and contrast of the both of them. But um, we'll see. I wanted to get a little plug so everybody knows that she's going to be on next week. I, I know that I'll get myself a glass that shot. I bet you will. Right, we had a great time with our with the McKellen stuff. So I'm sure I mean, was here for that one, but yeah. Uh, looking forward to doing the Highland. And I know that you had just done the dark, um, which you're, you're cranking out videos like a madman. Dude. Yeah, you're, you you're just insane. Like you don't have a day job. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you I just, don't sleep, my friends. I do not. You can't. You can't. I don't know how you get it all done. Dude, yeah, you're So a, you record it, you edit it, you, you publish it. All by yourself. That's crazy. Freaking Energizer Bunny. Or so does Scott. <laughs> I think you're on here with us. Both uh -huh. of you guys. Yeah. You guys are definitely, both channels are killing it. You guys are doing yeah, good, stuff, doing man. good stuff, good, man. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, you guys are doing awesome stuff, too, man. Give yourself some credit. Uh, we're having fun. It, it's mostly Drew. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Mark and I would be down here in the basement drinking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, though, guys, uh, each, each year we've noticed April, May, June, July is really brutal. It is. Oh, yeah. For, yeah, for YouTube views. I it mean, is. Everything just drops. People people aren't inside, you know, because of the cold. Absolutely. They're outside. Well, at least this is what we believe. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you know, vacation. Completely agree. People, yep. Yeah, people are busy, so YouTube views are down in you know May, June, July for sure. People but that have you kids. Just have keep, you just have to keep turning out content. You just have to keep at it. The good news is we're not stopping, so we're gonna keep going. And you're, right. you're absolutely right. I mean, we've definitely seen. I mean, our, our uptick in subs are really small right now. We've even had a negative a couple like, weeks, but it, it is what it is. Yeah. But three or four days. Every, I mean, from like to your point though, from like uh, November to like January, mm. February though, it's crazy booming. So it just, it is very seasonal. People are locked in yep. the house because the weather. And well, it's the same way with TV. You know, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why they don't start new shows usually in the summertime because nobody's inside watching yep. TV. It is interesting yeah, though because all of us, uh, we have a, a, a Twitter where all the whiskey tubers kind of talk, and it's kind of funny because we do all kind of sh- kind of share our, our analytics, and they're like. Yeah, we're all suckage right now. <laughs> yeah, so, everybody's nothing you suffering can do. the same thing. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, we're, we're still going to crank out content, like you we're said, Scott. We're, we're still going to do it, yeah. So. And we still get good comments. We're still having good interaction with our subs. I mean, yep. I actually love reading the comments. Oh, absolutely. It's great. It's really fun when you guys get a new subscriber that goes back and is watching a, a review from like two years ago and making a comment. And you're like, shit, I gotta go watch it myself because I don't remember. And you watch and you're like, oh my it? god, we were bad. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those old reviews were pretty bad. <laughs> it's fun to watch. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just uh, it's like going back and looking at a style of old car. You know what I mean? Like, you may not want to buy it now, but you can appreciate it for what it was, yeah. you know? So I don't That gremlin was the right? shit. Yeah. Right? That that was the I mean, somebody was wanted to buy that thing. I know it was a gas bomb and blew up on people, but man, yeah, that shit was tight. But you look cool when you were driving <laughs> in it, right? <laughs> man, well, I don't know about No, that. maybe you, not. <laughs> you felt cool while you were driving in it because you didn't see the outside of it while you were in it. Inside it. Body you go. Well, boys, I think yeah. it's time. Is, is Telex doing Telex, a show tonight? Doing a show it's 11 oh, wait, we're I late. haven't even seen him online that much. If you are, Telex, we ate into eight minutes I of your check. time, and I, I apologize mm-hmm. for that, but we're having a good time with some, some good fellow He's already on. YouTube good oh, friends yeah. of ours. He's and, on two minutes ago. All right. Yeah. So, boys, if you want to stay out check him out. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll keep talking to you guys for Tell two right. minutes, but uh, guys, any, yeah. any parting words? Uh, Rob, will you start first, and then we'll hit Scott. Yeah, no, thanks for having me on, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I definitely plan to re- return the favor as soon as Game of Thrones starts. I'm going to be doing a Game of Thrones oh, live shit. Every, every Sunday night after the show. So you are guys you, are welcome to come. Are you going to you know, get a bottle of the White Walker? Are you getting a bottle of Johnny Walker White Walker? If I can, I will. If yeah. I can, I will. But I, I don't know. It's probably not going to be available in Ontario. So. Really? <laughs> That's probably true. Oh, man. That's sad. Well, right. looking forward to That's it, man. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Scott, what's up with you? Hey, again, uh, same as Rob. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. I love doing these when I can. It's always a good time hooking up with you guys. So, I like having actual conversations. We will be out in your neck of the woods sooner or later, Scott. You guys plan it, and we will come. I think we might make it work. We'll figure it out. So, uh, some of us. We'll, we'll make something happen. Yep. Yeah, so. one, two, four, five of you. Whatever, yeah, man. Whatever. We'll make it work. We'll Seven. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, boys. Yeah, so bring, party. Uh, bring, is, it, is it Molly? Bring Molly with you. Yeah, bring bring Molly. Molly. Oh, man. Right. You got pretzels. Oh, she'll want to come. <laughs> we'll have peanut butter pretzels. You know, peanut butter pretzels, and she's there. All right, so party words, Party Mark? comments, yeah. Um, Rob, Scott, thanks for joining the show, you guys. I, we, we, you guys are doing good stuff. We love having you guys on the show. It's fun. I mean, we, we got a lot to talk about because we had a lot in common. You guys are great guys, got so I appreciate you coming week. on. We have Amanda coming on next week from Edrington Group to talk about Highland Park. Um, and then because we went over for 10 minutes, even if you guys don't plan to stay on for long, when you leave this channel in like 30 seconds, go jump on Telex and just give him some numbers and yep. give him some love. Just shout right. at him. See what's going on. You don't have to stay for the whole show or whatever, but let's just flood him for But you might want to. Man. Who yeah, knows? Let's, let's all go show him some love. Yeah, let's just yep. run over there and say, hey. I mean, he's got a good collection. Yeah, so and he's yeah, he definitely guy. could go and drink with. So. He's got 11. He's got 11 people. We'll, on we'll right get now. some more on the right now. Let's, so. go, let's go hit him guys, real quick. So It'll be 16 in a second. <laughs> we'll see you guys next Cheers, week. Guys. Rob, Cheers, guys. Scott, thanks, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Happy mm. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Slancha. Dummies. <laughs>